It all started with a fire. Fire left me almost an unemployed on one shot. They, they sent me to an emergency shelter at first on uh, uh, 224 in Sussex Avenue. They gave me a 60-day uh, voucher. The, all the money that I had saved up was gone, and I was still right back where, where I was in four years. And uh, I had absolutely no place to go but it. Uh, Penn Station. Because <clears throat> it was the only place I could find it to stay. This is in the uh, beginning of March, you know, it's getting it's cold. So uh, uh, I, I was staying in there, but I was getting more and more sick. Well, I got so bad finally that the uh, the the, the Penn Station that they ended up calling the ambulance for me. They, they took me down to uh, St. St. James Hospital down on Diamond Iron Bound. So I guess we were still open it. And, uh, and I was there for a few hours. Uh, but, you know, they can't do much. They, well, they, they couldn't do too much for me. They put you on IV, you know, rehydrate you a little bit, and give you something to pull my stomach in, like my lantern and stuff like that. You know. And they decided to like, let me go. So, I left from the hospital. I was there the rest of the morning, the afternoon. Still hadn't slept, hadn't eaten. I was still feeling pretty ill. And I guess it was uh, later on in the, uh, in, late in the afternoon, it was, it was the same uh, the Port Authority officer that called the ambulance for me the night before. And saw me there, he's like, what are you doing here? He's like, go home. Uh, they need him. I, I can't even tell him I don't have a home. I just, I just got up and so I wandered around the streets for a while. It was still raining, trying to find places to stay. It's just to stay dry when it started raining hard. But by this time, it was just over a period of time, it was getting more and more wet and wet. Shoes were soaking wet, feet were wet. It was miserable. I was miserable. Uh, I was wandering around to look out late. And yeah, the streets downtown Newark is not a good place to be walking around that night. Um, my feet were killing me. I was wet. I was, I was, I was still sick. I was tired. I was tired, tired, tired. And uh, I remember a couple of times coming right past there by uh, Central Avenue. And uh, buses were coming down the hill from Central Avenue. They, they come pretty fast, that place stays out of the way from the curves because they kick up all the water on the side of the sidewalk. And I was thinking to myself, I just, you know, I'll just get it over there. I'll just, just, just wait till one of come down the hill and just walk out in front of it when I say. But I didn't do that. And way down the street, that's all I saw was this big red neon cross. And I just, they, well, caught my attention. I just started walking towards it. That's the only thing I could think of. I just kept telling myself I'd be all right if I just go, if I just walked it across. And I thought, man, I'll just knock on the door. Someone answered the door. Uh, and uh, Daryl answered the door. Daryl House. And, uh, and I asked him, uh, and I was sincere. I said, can I just stand, come aside and just get out of the rain to dry off and warm up a little bit and then I'll leave. And I'll, and I'll stay right here by the, in, in the door if you want or whatever. Uh, and he, he was kind enough, he let me in. He said, you can stay until the morning. I talked to her in bed on a Sunday. Uh, talked to Dr. Gavadi on Monday morning. And, you know, um, and then uh, I started in the discipleship program. You know, I was told when I first got here, I said, you know, if you could, if, if, Sincerely ask if something's too much for him. Sincerely ask, yeah, great. I just had it taken away. It's just too much, and I did that. And th that next morning, I just know that it's gone. I mean, I don't have any obsession to, to drink anymore. I'm not stupid where I don't think it's going to really tempt me again. But it's it's not the same as it was any other time where I decided to just go quit and it lasted for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, or even longer sometimes. I mean it. it Feel that it's gone, which is, is, is you know, incredibly thankful for, because it's not something that I'm trying to like 
fight every single day. It's just it's just gone, which is amazing to me. Which is one thing I know that 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 that, that, that all this is for real.